Let me tell you a story entitled Rich People Problems, an excerpt by Kevin Kwan. Bettina Ortiz E. Mania is a former Miss Venezuela, a Miss Universe runner-up, and a wife of Herman, a Miami Auto Parts tycoon. She always gets what she wants, especially when it comes on sitting on her desired table. But she's not accustomed to eating. She went to her favorite lunch spot at Sip Sip on Harbor Island and wanted to sit on the corner table on the terrace. She wanted to sit on one of the comfy orange canvas director's chairs. But there was a large noisy group taking up the entire terrace and they didn't seem in much hurry to leave. Bettina glared at them and started to judge them on how they look. She said, look how they tacky they were. The woman overly tanned, wrinkled and saggy, none of them properly lifted or buttocks. She felt like walking up to them and handing them a dermatologist business card. The three and a half mile long paradise with its pristine pink sand beaches was one of the best kept secrets in the Caribbean. A haven for the very rich filled with quaint little wood houses painted in shades of sherbet, charming boutiques, chic oceanfront mansions turned into inns, and five-star restaurants to rival St. Bart's. Tourists should have to take a style exam before being allowed to set foot on the island, said Bettina. Feeling that she had been patient long enough, Bettina stormed into the kitchen. She complained to the woman with a shock of pixie cut blonde hair manning the main stove. Sorry Bettina, it's been one of those days. The party of 12 on the terrace showed up first just before you did. Julie replied as she handed off a bowl of spicy conch chili to a waiting server. But Bettina can't accept that those tourists who wear cheap clothes are enjoying the place she wanted. So, Julie started introducing the tourists on the terrace. Well, the tourist in the red fishing cap is the Duke of Glencora. His party just boated over from Windermere, while his men you see moored off the coast. Isn't it the most handsome sailboat you've ever seen? Bettina isn't impressed with big boats, because she is impressed by people with big title. From the kitchen window, she surveyed the party assembled on the terrace with new eyes. Then, she noticed the well-built man in fitted white t-shirts sitting on the adjacent table. She said, I assume that's the Duke's security detail. They couldn't be more obvious. Don't they know that we're all billionaires here in Bryland? And this isn't how we roll. Julie replied, actually, those bodyguards belong to the Duke's special guests. Bettina squinted through her Dior X-Day sunglasses at the portly, balding, 70-something Asian man dressed in a nondescript white short sleeve gold shirt and gray trousers. Am I supposed to know who he is? That's Alfred Shaw. Julie said in a hushed tone. Bettina giggled. <laughs> He looks like the chauffeur, doesn't he look like the guy that used to drive Jane Winnen around the Falcon Crest? Julie, who was trying to focus on searing a cut of tuna, a perfection, shook her head, a tight-lipped smile. From what I hear, the chauffeur is the most powerful man in Asia. What's his name again? 